Hello and welcome to episode 70. We are on our final mission to get the Persona Core. Um, and by that, I mean we are currently doing a quest for the Empire, which is called Aristocrats Needing Help. That's going to give us 29 goodwill, which with our current goodwill of 21 will push us over the threshold, which will tell us, uh, give us the Black Imperium will then give us the knowledge of where we can find the Persona Core. So it's not a complete slam dunk, but it's close. We're almost there. We also have one of these uh, little pods here, the pod launcher. I'm going to build another one right here on the other side. <clears throat> we'll have two because I think it might take us. We might need to fill two of these up with our colonists and send a couple people over. If I recall correctly, I can't remember exactly how it works in terms of getting getting the Persona Core. I've launched the ship a couple of times, but this was a long time ago. So we'll see how it goes. But currently we do have a quite the list of colonists, uh, partly because we have a couple of quest friends, but we do also just have a couple of relatively new colonists on board that have yet to be renamed. So if you'd like to join at the late stage, always an option. Let's restock our beautiful gallery. And we are dealing with a psychic soothe, which is fantastic. Everybody is very, never mind. Ignore that. Ignore that idle banter that I was just starting because the psychic soothe is over. So we do have to care about our people's moods. We do need a little bit of warm clothes, but not too bad. We are getting a lot of meat from our chickens. We have finally converted Hunter, which means we can now go on recruiting because that's what we need. And a di an additional uh, crew person for our colony. I think the plan with all of that happening though is to consider building a better more additional larger luxury area and i can't decide if i want it off of the farm down here or if i want it off of uh, edgar's bedroom and i'm leaning towards off of edgar's bedroom but the simple reason is i don't want people traipsing through the farm as much and i think this is just a more logical place to have it anyways so what we'll do is we'll build a door behind Edgar's bed for now and Drunken Cat will work on that and we will also deconstruct that um, in terms of things we want to research we could consider something like an auto cannon turret that's something we might like maybe the moisture pump we could get rid of some of this water up here it's another option and now that that is out of the way we'll clear that up and for now, we don't have enough blocks. Hmm. We do absolutely need more sandstone. And obviously I've grabbed all the readily available sandstone. So we'll kind of move our camera off to there and we'll get hauling. Who? Oh, Floyd is part of the Warriors Code, but falling. It's because we have the Doctrine of One. One. What was that called? The Doctrine of Oneness. Not ideal, but we won't convert the Empire people. We could begin a speech. No, we don't need any speech. Everybody's doing fine. In terms of work, we do have one priority hauler. What if we just set our fun friends? I guess they won't go outside, so they aren't going to haul this stuff anyways. We have enough friends going out there to haul. We won't make you haul. We'll just have you focused, focused on cleaning up 
that'll keep the cleanliness inside keep these rooms nice and high beauty so that you get better mood bonuses because part of the condition for getting all that tasty tasty goodwill is that we maintain the quality of our beautiful colony for these visitors all right what i'm going to be doing is making a set of sweets down this way and really i don't want to i want to i want to have a nice size to these sweets i don't know if this is exactly I mean, obviously this is not exactly the, the size I'm looking for, but we'll get there. I think we might, I, I, I'm undecided how exactly we're gonna divide this up. For now, I think we would need to do at least a one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we could do like a five by five. I think six by six would be ideal. So we'll, we'll just work on this for now. We also need to have some sort of hallway system. Great, we have a, uh, a bulk trader. Havoc, what are you doing? What's your social at three? Who else is awake? You're from the Empire. Um, Drunken Cat, do we wake you up? No, we wake up Spanky. Spanky, ugh, I'm tired, IRL. But we, sh we shall sell things. Um, I mean, you're a bulk. So we could sell a cockerel and a hen, whoops, and a rooster and a couple other hens, more different hens, sell a couple muffalo calves, um, maybe even uh one of, or yeah one of our adult buffalo um sell one of our yak calves we're just gonna sell a bunch of of our animals buy um all those components which cost all the money and can sell some toques uh some go juice some yayo uh we have a bunch of wool um, let's just sell all these old and busted clothes and this parka as well. We will want a little bit of gold because that is useful for components. Nope. I don't want that. Nope. We don't want that. And I believe another strategy we could employ is we want to uninstall all of these statues with these statues uninstalled Frankie's not a constructor what if we put it on a low priority how long okay we're going to prioritize deconstructing and then call back sorry for disturbing your sleep spanky but there's money to be made all right, buy my statues, all of them, beautiful. And give me, whoops, more money. And by money, I mean gold. I shall take another 50 gold. Do we want any medicine? Maybe just a little bit, a little bit of good medicine. Anything else we would like to purchase? We could also just sell. Um, yeah, let's sell these leathers. We're not going to be making too much out of these leathers. That gives us a lot of money. Now, is there something in the terms of uh, barrels or... We could buy Plasteel. That is also a useful amount of resources there. Get another 70 or so, 72 Plasteel. Maybe get another 
hundred steel. Beautiful. And we have all these resources. Spanky, you're gonna pick, uh, haul that inside. And now you're gonna haul that inside. And now you're going to do whatever you want to do. Slimy guy is creative. We could actually, well, could we, before I suggest slimy guy gets into the arts and crafts. Excellent. Thanks, Randy. Slimy guy is incapable of arts and crafts. So that's a thing. That's okay. Spanky will surely get back to making wonderful art as immediately it, it happened. Just working away. But that's good. We want we want our our artist to thrive. So many I should have just I should have sold more chicks. But that's that's absolutely fine. Things are going swimmingly there. Really we're just trying to survive so many days in a row. And I think we're mostly fully automated. Fairly well defended. We have this awkward room that I built and I really didn't even mean to make a, a regular room. So if I make a hall, I mean, following the pattern of the rest of the area, a hall would look something like this. Uh, at, I suppose I don't need to build that one now, but this would be a room. This would be the hall. So first things first, we have a volcanic winter. Excellent. Massive quantities of ash are falling from the sky. Destroying everything. Well, not really destroying everything, just being annoying. Floors, we want a beautiful, well, this is, it's an average size space. There's currently no bonus or penalty. I think a reasonable take would be to deconstruct this wall and then expand it out by one. So we'll do that. Drunken Cat, you are a good constructor, so you have a job. Beautiful. And then all we need to do is do that. And once you are done that, do this. Okay, let's do this one next. And let's deconstruct, deconstruct, and um, there we go. Excellent. So now, uh, I guess it's still average size. So that would be... That is 42. I, I might just need to expand it one more tile down. But I think that's a pretty nice sized bedroom for now. We'll start with that. So we're going to, we are currently using gray for regular bedrooms, this slate, and then red. Maybe we'll do something with like, I don't know. We have, do we have any other colors? Um, we want something more royal a, a purple room just regular purple is that the color um or do we want something like yellow or do we want even to do something bold with uh we do purple around the outside and then maybe we do the uh we do some white carpet white and purple um nice We'll do that. And then it's still kind of like similar vibes to a bedroom, but it has an indication that it's like a important bedroom. Should have done something better with Drunken Cat, but Drunken Cat's bedroom is literally uh, just because of needs for, for things. Um, we are sleeping in the cold, um, which is not awesome. So let's stop doing that. 
just more more heaters additional heaters everywhere what how is it in here it is rather chilly was that another heater Ooh, chilly in there too it's just chilly everywhere we're sleeping on the oh because we don't this is for medical you don't have to sleep on the floor blight pack friend Oh boy. We could also just do some regular fires. We have lots of wood. Wood is something that we are not short of. It is very cold in the throne room. Oh, I like that purple. It's a nice, nice color there. Another statue's finished. Back to the art gallery. Wonderful. Drunken Cat is working away at making this beautiful room and we have some cargo pods that have pig skin not the best but not not worth not not worth nothing in terms of wildlife let's do a quick check there's no bears out here that are going to eat our colonists as we venture forth and grab additional resources now that is a nice looking room very nice it is a decent room in terms of impressiveness uh it is very cold it is minus 28 degrees in this room i don't think venting into here is useful however what we can do this room could if it's gonna be sort of a luxury suite maybe we'll, we'll cancel this for now um, we can also cancel this for now. We could just give it its own heater and that will ensure that the owners of that particular room don't, don't freeze, which is good. We don't want that to happen. I think another step we want to take is we do want to double wall, at least down here and then We'll, we'll talk, talk about that. Uh, no longer inspired recruitment. Well, that's fine. We have another heater here. Moisture pump is done. Is there anything? Toxifier. Um, spread pollution. No. Don't want that. Should we just make or learn learn about drugs? Should we learn about fertility procedures? We could make babies, not necessary at this point in the game. A lot of this toxin filtration, detoxifier stuff. Sure. We're just giving our researchers something to do at this point. <clears throat> keep, keep up the good work, Edgar. All right, drunken cat is outside. Oh no, we are not, we are not that wasteful with our time. If you're out here, you are going to at least finish some of the job. We're missing resources over here, so we, that's fine. Beautiful. We're not losing our reinforcements in the south completely having that double wall really does buy us enough time to get our colonists into position if we were really clever not clever right but if we were really paranoid i guess we could take just build an entire double wall so that we could ambush people as they try to break in which honestly might be something we do when we go to build the ship we could build another perimeter wall that extends down maybe even intersects with part of this mountain and then connects back to this wall at the very least it does kind of leave our dormitory moderately exposed which is not ideal but it would give us another sort of layer of protection but likely uh, well so far we haven't had very many raids come from this way we do have a wonderful trail of blood 
here and here. These tell their own stories, I suppose. And otherwise, our active quest, 24 days. So we've currently done roughly five days. That's not, not bad. So it will be a few episodes before we get this based on the fact, based on sort of the, the average speed and how long it takes us to get through things. And we are firmly in, in the late game. We're working on sort of vanity construction pro projects. Uh, I do need to worry though, that you know, as I, you know, make expensive luxury rooms, that I don't neglect things like turrets and defenses. I do have a fairly defensible entryway, which which does work to prevent getting completely overrun. However, Randy will eventually just decide it is time and send an absolute gong show of a raid at me. And I really hope to be off the planet before. That is a, a real problem that I have to deal with. So with that said, we will get this bedroom up and running probably in the next episode. And we will ensure that our guests are happy and safe and enjoying all the fine things that the Tundra has to offer. We have plenty of food, although our actual um, resources are potentially getting a little bit tapped with the number of colonists and including our friend hunter here who is eating we have quite a few mouths to feed which is mildly concerning so we will keep an eye on this though i believe the chickens will give us quite a bit of food if uh, if we need to we can harvest our animals so not super worried there nevertheless thanks again for watching and I will catch you in the next one.